hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video we have another sponsored video from savvy land and i'm super excited i was really happy at how the nail art turned out so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the unboxing this first item that we have is a nail art brush set and they are dual ended because they do have dotting tools on the other side and i really like these um if you see my last video my biggest size dotting tool actually broke so this came in the most perfect time so as you can see they have dotting tools on the other end and there's so many i'm dropping them but yeah they have brushes as well they have two liner brushes sort of like a cleanup brush and just different size brushes i'm not really sure what they are specifically for but when you have brushes like this i guess it doesn't really matter just as long as you do what do you need to do with the brushes and yeah i feel like you can never have too many brushes so i was excited for this the next item we have from savvy land is a gel polish set which is a 12 piece vibrant luminous color set and these are glow in the dark i was super excited to receive these um it's just something about glow in the dark nails i just really love so once I took everything out, it does include a user manual at the bottom of it. But of course, I already know how to apply gel polishes. So I just set that to the side. And then here's how the packaging look for the gel polishes. And I really do love the packaging as well. So just taking a quick look at the bottles, it says Savvy Land Glow in the Dark UV LED Soak Off Gel. And then it also has a circle swatch of what the color looks like regular, then also what color it glows in the dark. So for this one, it is a yellow, but it glows green in the dark. So this one is called Aurora Yellow. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right. That sort of feels like a tongue twister to me, so... Yeah, that is the color. I will have all of the names on the screen as well. And then here is the swatch for this first color. I am going to have the bottle in the upper right corner so that you see what color it glows. And I'm also going to swatch it as well. I wanted to do it this way so that it didn't take too much time trying to show them individually. So yeah, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this part right here play out and just enjoy the swatches.
So yeah, this is the last color I'm going to be swatching and I just didn't want to talk during the swatches because I felt like I would have been repeating myself how, how gorgeous this color is and just basically saying the same thing over and over. So once I had them swatched, I also did Cure for 30 seconds and the light for each color. And this is only one coat as well. And before I show them, I did go ahead and print out some labels just because I feel like I need to start labeling my swatches so that I can keep them. Whenever I don't label them, most likely I throw them in the trash and it's just like a waste. So I went ahead and printed out some swatches. The label maker I use is linked down below in my Amazon storefront. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and do so. I've really been loving it whenever I use it. And for the swatches, I do print two on one label so that I can save the little stickers. And yeah, it's just so satisfying to watch this part here play out. And I really do like the swatches on it as well. It give it a more aesthetic look to it. And I'm able to tell the colors and keep them so I'm not wasting product. So now that I have all of my labels on these swatches, this is what all of the colors look like. And for some reason, whenever I got it, I automatically thought they were going to be more like neon colors. But I'm actually pretty glad that they aren't because spring is coming up. And even if you don't want a glow in the dark nail set, these are perfect for the springtime. They give you a very soft Easter pastel vibe. And I really like that. Um, and then here's how the colors look once they glow super vibrant and of course they are like really really super charged whenever you put them in the uv light so yeah that's just what i did to show you guys what they look like and then here's just me moving a little bit further away from the light so that you can see exactly what they look like in complete dark now if you are interested in these i will have these linked down below so make sure to check that out and i will have a limited discount code for them so if you want to get these please make sure to go ahead and do it before the code runs out. Now for my application, I am gonna go in with some full cover nail tips to apply these. I'm using my two-in-one light, also using some Savvy Land base coat. And I'm just doing the Apray method, putting some base coat in the cuticle part of the nail, starting at the cuticle area of my natural nail, and then just adding pressure, making sure that that product spreads out over the entire nail. Once I have it straight, I'm gonna splash cure for about eight to 10 seconds. Um, and then once I get them all on, I do cure for another 30 to 60 seconds in my bigger LED light. And this is super easy. I love applying nails this way, especially when you want a quick design on top of it. And now that I have them all on, this is what they're looking like. With these nail tips, I didn't notice at first, but the middle nail is so much bigger and so much longer than the rest of them. And also, they don't really give you like that super stiletto shape. They, they're they kind of roundish. So I'm taking a hand file and I'm just going to file them up to make them a little bit more sharper. Also making them a little bit more pointier. And I am making sure I'm really careful because I do have a peel off base underneath these nails and I didn't want them popping off. So yeah, I'm being very careful. I do have it sped up just a little bit so it looks a little bit more aggressive. But this is what the nails look like once I have finished. Once I did that for all of the nails, I'm going to go in with an e-file and a sanding band to go around my cuticle. So for this application, I didn't really have spillage at all. Even if your application was flawless, I do not recommend skipping this step. Um, whether it is a cuticle ball bit, a cuticle, like some type of cuticle cleanup bit or a sanding band. I recommend you going around the cuticle area just to flatten that area out, um, especially if you want a more natural look. If you want the nails to look more like they're actually growing from your cuticle area, make sure that you are doing this step. And you also can just thin them out a little bit before applying them to your nails. That will help as well. 
but I just like to do it after I put them on. And once I finish doing all of the shaping and filing, this is what the nails are looking like. I went ahead and removed the dust. So now getting into this nail art, these are the colors I picked out. Like just look at these colors. They're just so gorgeous and they honestly give me Easter spring vibes. Um, I'm also going to be using this black French gel from Savvy Land as well. Um, this French gel, it actually has a special brush, like a slanted um, type of look. So that way it makes doing French tips a whole lot easier. I have used these on my channel and I will link that video up in the cards if you want to check it out. But for this design, I am just going to use it for the black gel. So I'm just going to put a little bit here on my nail palette. Also, I'm going to be using one of the liner brushes from that brush set that I unboxed earlier. And I do believe this is the longer one. So taking that black gel. So as you saw by the thumbnail and title, I am going to be doing some glow in the dark lava lamp nails. Um, and just to start this off, I am going to be making like the black parts at the top and the bottom of the nail. I'm not really sure what it's called. So just kind of follow along as I do the nail art. Um, I wanted to do this design during Valentine's Day because the original creator, Maria Bello, she um, did them also for Halloween as well. But for Valentine's Day, she made them glowing hearts. And I thought they were so cute, but I couldn't get to it in time enough for Valentine's Day. And so I'm going to be doing it today. Um, even though it's not Valentine's Day, it's already passed. Since I had these glow in the dark gel polishes, I felt like it was the perfect time to do it. And also, I just really couldn't figure out what else to do. So I just wanted to do them on this set today. And also, when Maria Bello did her nails, she did do it with sculpting acrylic. Like, she made them really 3D and they turned out so nice. I'll pop up a picture right here if you haven't seen it. Like, they just look so pretty. Um, I wanted to recreate them, but like I said, I wasn't able to get to it. So I'm just going to be doing the design over some full cover nail tips. And so once I finished doing the black part, I went ahead and cured it for 30 seconds in my light. And I'm just basically going to be repeating that same process over all of my nails. And also, I did just want to mention how I really actually love these brushes. Like, I know brushes like this can be rather, like, cheap but these brushes worked really nicely like i was able to get those lines really nice and yeah i really loved like the flow of it it wasn't like super stiff or it wasn't super flimsy and yeah i actually enjoyed the brushes like i said they will be linked down below if you have been looking for a good and expensive brush and this design was really simple so i'm just gonna go ahead and let this part here play out for you guys just to enjoy all of the nail art So I just went ahead and did my pinky off camera just because it's super repetitive. But yeah, here's how the black part turned out. Basically like the outline part. I'm not, like I said, I don't know what that part is called on a lava lamp. But once I have all of that cured, I am going to be taking all of those gel, gel polishes that I picked out earlier. And I'm just going to be putting some onto my nail palette. And I just cannot get over how gorgeous these colors are. Like I said, I really love the fact they, that they are like super soft and pastel -y. like these are just so pretty i cannot wait to use these more for the springtime so yeah taking that same liner brush that i used to do the black part with and i'm just gonna be creating like the 
lava inside the lamp and I'm also going to attempt to make them look like hearts. So I just put two dots down and then I connect them basically like I do my regular hearts. But of course we need to make them like really flowy and sort of like the dripping design to make it look like it's actually like turned on and it's glowing and the lava is just like bouncing everywhere. And this is a really easier alternative if you do want to have lava lamp nails. Like I said, the original creator used acrylic and she sculpted out her hearts which turned out fabulous that can be intimidating for anyone like even for me I was just kind of like even though I really wanted to do it I was just like am I really going to be able to pull this off so yeah that can just be a little bit challenging especially trying to get like really really small sculpted pieces on the nail so yeah an easier way is just to draw them on basically how I'm doing here and that way you won't have to worry about the smell of the monomer messing up the sculpted hearts and yeah this was a lot easier and on the nail i did try to do like basically two main hearts like how you see on the nail i did one coming from the top and also the bottom then on the sides just to kind of fill in the spaces i also added sort of like a drop like the dripping effect just to make the lava lamp look a little bit more busier and once i finish getting the drips where i want them to go i'm gonna go ahead and cure for 30 seconds in my led light Now once I had this cured, um, I got the thought that the lava lamp, like whenever a lava lamp is turned on, it kind of has like a sheer color, like just like glowing. So I wanted to add this translucent jelly gel polish on top of the um, design. And once I put that on there, of course it's going to be matching each of the colors because each nail is going to be a different color. So for this one, I put on a purple jelly over the design. I went ahead and cured it for 30 seconds. And now just very quickly, so I didn't want that jelly color to kind of hide the glowing effect of the hearts inside of it. So I'm taking that purple gel once again and I'm just going over the design I did the first time. I'm going to speed this up just because it's like I already showed it. So just quickly I'm going to go ahead and go over it and cure it again for 30 seconds. And that is basically what I'm going to be doing for each of the nails. Like I said, I'm just going to use a different color on each nail to spice up this nail set. Give it some color and yeah i'm just basically gonna let this part here play out i already explained everything it's super easy and if you are enjoying today's video make sure that you go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you are here and you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to go ahead and subscribe it will really help me out a lot or if you're feeling extra generous go ahead and leave a comment down below
Okay, so here I am just working on my last nail, just going over the original design just to make that glowing effect pop a little bit more. I went ahead and cured it and this is what the nails are looking like. I also did my thumb off camera for a reel, so make sure that you go ahead and follow me over there. Um, and as you can see, I did add on some rhinestones. So I'm going to be doing that to the other nails. But before we do, I am going to take this Savvy Land top coat and just go over all of my nails so that I don't have to try to go around the rhinestones. Once I apply the top coat to all of my nails, I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds in the light. The top coat I used was kind of thick, um, so it did take me a little bit longer to apply it, just trying to make sure that it was smooth. Also, just me going over like the lava lamp look, it kind of made it feel a little bit 3D, so in a way, I did like that. But see, so yeah, now I went ahead and cured everything. I'm just taking some rhinestone glue, applying a really thin line where these two colors connect, and I'm just going to be blinging that section out. And this was super satisfying. I am going to speed it up so you guys don't have to sit here forever. This part took the longest time to do. So yeah, I'm just going to speed it up a little bit so you guys won't get too bored. And then once I finish, I'm going to be done with this set. I'm going to add some cuticle oil. And I will be back to show you guys what the finished set looks like. Also, the glowing lava. So as you just saw, I did go ahead and apply some cuticle oil to re-nourish my cuticles. And this is how the nails are looking. I really love how they turn out. Like they just look super cool. Like even just looking from afar, like the colors and like the bling, the jelly look, it just looks so nice. And I really think adding those jelly gels on there was a super nice touch because if I didn't, it would have just been like clear and it wouldn't really gave that colorful glowing effect how I was hoping it would. So I'm really happy that I added that to the nail set. And also the bling, like the bling is just so pretty. It kind of adds like that girly feel to it just to make it super adorable. And I really love my thumb. Like I think it's just because like that green, it looks more like slime or something. Like I don't know what it is, but I just really love how they turned out. And here's how the nails look once I got them glowing. I turned off all of my lights. Um, and I actually had to wait like a little bit until it got dark because in my nail room, whenever I turn off the lights, it isn't like completely dark and you wouldn't be able to see the really glowing effect. So I did have to wait a little bit later in the day just to get this footage. And I just love how they look. 
The ring finger looks a little bit scary though. It looks like a creepy face. I guess I just tried to make it look a little bit too different. And even though you can see the glowing effect, like in the dark, it was kind of hard for the camera to focus. So I do apologize about that. But I just think these look super cool. And I did try to make them look like hearts, but I think once I went over the original design, it took away from the shape and now it just kind of look like bones. But either way, I still love how they turned out. And I really did enjoy using these Savvy Land Glow in the Dark gel polishes. Um, I will leave everything down below. Again, thank you Savvy Land for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out the limited discount code for these gel polishes. Everything will be linked down below for you guys to check out. And that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought about this set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.